Hey, what's up, guys? Well, let's go back here, and today we're gonna be playing a new deck. A deck that I have personally not really played before, um, but I'm very well, I have played other versions of it, but I have never played this version, which is Big Rogue. Um, I have, assume people remember Big Shaman, then I assume people remember Death Rattle Rogue. It's in the same vein as that through, you know, Mask uh, Reveler, which used to play a couple of Illusionists, even though he's not as broken as he once was. Still a pretty solid card, but now also with a uh, smoke screen. So if you draw, you know, uh, Plague Proto Drake or Stoneborn General, Sc Colossus, Deathwing, uh, basically all the minions in this deck that are relevant have uh, Death Rattle. Uh, and then also you have just some good means with uh, KT. So, you know. Anyways, um, this deck just looks like a lot of fun. This deck reminds me of old Big Priest, where you're just playing all the big minions. You know, you had Emperor Thorosan, you had Sylvanas, you had Ragnaros, you had... Um, this was sort of before Blood of Goon. You had Barnes, you had uh, KT, you had so many other just Lich King. I don't think other ones. Some of us even played, like, Baron Geddon. Um, but, like, all those from way back in the day, Ysera. And this deck, I get that vibe, you know? And I'm very, very excited to play it. I'm just trying to see if there's any other legendaries I remember having in the deck. I mean, I played a fucking big priest that had charged devil slurs, which is why I have two of them. Um, but yeah, no, it's just, it's a good fun meme deck. All right. Yeah. Uh, some list played, um, I can't think of the name. Velen. That was the other one I was trying to think of that I cannot think of the name. But, um, Yeah. Anyways, with all that being said, how about we queue up the first game, and, uh, oh, the other one is, uh, Josh Rush. That was the other big one you played. But yeah, with all that being said, let's queue up the next, uh, the first one, and let's see how it goes. Alright guys, yeah, I'll see y'all there. Alright. First matchup, Warlock. I'm assuming this is, uh, a, a Jailer combo. I think that's kind of what I have to assume that it is nowadays, right? Oh, Illusionist. No coin, though, sadly. Mask Reveler. Still no coin, sadly. This thing has Rush. Interesting. Oh, there's the smoke screen. Let's just battle cry. So hopefully we can draw a swift scale trickster here. That'd be, like, the best draw in our deck. Yeah. I think, by far, that's just the best draw in the deck. That's not it. That ain't it, either. Um, I don't know why this is in the deck. I think it might be in the deck to try and put something on top that you'd want, but... That seems a little, uh... Bad. <laughs> this is a list I did take from the internet. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't quite know about the swordfish being put in the deck. That seems a little uh, bait, you know? Tiny bit bait. Start with this, into this. Okay, well. I guess that's the card I'm gonna take. Uh, neither of those were pirates, so that's unfortunate. I want him to dirty rat me really badly. Dirty rat pulls fucking like plague proto Drake, and then he's just like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> oh, it sounds like a great fucking meme. By the way, I hope you guys all have a beverage. I'm currently drinking me a Dr Pepper because I went to go buy some the other day, and it's really fucking good. Oh, uh, do you actually have? I'm about to get Jailer next turn. We only tossed Malganis. These Mechathune combo. Interesting. Those are not ideal. Those are really bad, all things considered. I should have probably considered attacking this, but... This draw was not ideal. Not at all. No, no, no trickster. We drew the smoke screens, just no trickster. 
The problem is, like, I'm not overdraw with this. Like, guaranteed, right? Play this, I play... Yeah, I, like, overdraw with this. That's so unfortunate. Oh, I could kill this guy here, at least. Is that illusionist? Unlucky. I wonder if I draw... If burning counts as drawing in this scenario. I hope it does. Uh, I don't think it does, but hopefully it does. Do you draw the second tome? How? I've played a dozen or so games total of decks that had this combo in it. I've, no, I've played probably two or three dozen games with the Tome-Malkazar Zimp combo, and I think I've hit it like four times, four or five times total. Well... Let's see how this works. I missed on all the death rattle cards in my fucking deck. Very unfortunate. Alright, do you have Jailer combo? If you have Jailer combo, you just win the game. Uh, I will just concede. He can't easy Plague of Flames because he doesn't know what's in my deck quite, really. So blowing up my... That's not good for me. Blowing up the 4-4 could be really problematic. That's something he has to worry about. I'm pretty sure I've lost this game, but there's nothing I can do from this, scenario, from this position. Just need to hope it goes better. And not be dead in the next two turns. I don't think I can kill him, but I can definitely try to get close. Well, he burnt Kata, which removes his Mechathune Wincon. Could have played. Oh, I'm an idiot. I forgot the Cobalt Illusionist wasn't the one that was. Okay, I was hoping for a Jailer or a Malganus burn. I forgot. Forgot Cobalt Illusionist is not the combo one. That's really bad on my part. If I see Jailer, I'm instantly conceding. Or if I see Malganus, I'm instantly conceding. There's no point in me playing a game that I know I can't win. Playing a double Mechathune list? Or a double Cataclysm list? Huh. Double Cataclysm, I never thought I'd see the day. I guess that's for when you misplay because you can't play the deck properly and you burn a Cataclysm, you have a backup, but that seems hella fucking wrong. Anyways, uh, let's queue up the next one. All right, priest. Let's see if we can out big the big priest. That sounds like a fun thing to try. I draw twig. Never lucky, man. Actually, never lucky. Oh, it's aggro. Oh no, it's control. Can I please draw my swift scale trickster? I don't know why I thought this was the combo one. Just a card that's very similar to this that uses combo, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but I'm fairly certain. Like, 80 plus percent sure. He just got two cards that he has no idea what the fuck they do. Let's go. <laughs> that the average CMC in my deck is way higher than his. Trickster? I hate this game. This game is actually terrible. This game fucking hates me. 
I hate this game. How am I supposed to win if I never get lucky and I never hit Trickster? I just want to hit Trickster, man. That's all I want. Okay, sorry if you guys hear people yelling upstairs. I don't know why I hear people yelling, but... Man, I don't want to drop both of these. I'm so tilted. Nothing's going right, man. Can you go a six drop? Six drop or a trickster. Oh, trickster's not even good here, is the worst part. Trickster's really bad here. I can't. Like, I can barely pull off the combo anymore. Like, if I top deck exactly trickster, I can do it. I go up to 10 cards exactly, but still, like, ugh, this feels so fucking bad. This is gonna summon a trickster from my deck, just, or is this from my hand, so. That means it always hits something playable, right? That's how that works. Uh, okay. That's not a good card. How the fuck did I know that the one that summoned from my deck was going to be a trickster? How? How was I able to predict that? And how am I getting this fucked by RNG? I actually don't understand it. There's what? Three bad minions in the deck. Right, four, I guess, if you count Cobalt. For us, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I hit the 3 and 12. What the fuck were the odds? Like, oh my god, I can't believe I lost. I've been losing those type of fucking coin flips, though, to be fair, for like the last 20 games of this game I've played. Put a whole bunch of battlegrounds in the last two days. The amount of times I've lost games where I've had like 85 plus percent chance to win is absurd. That would have been great to draw like three turns ago. It's pretty good. Uh, wait, this summons them? Trigger any death rattles drawn. Oh, it triggered these, which were recruits, then this. Which got this, and then this. Okay, that's... I thought this was just summoning them, and I was very confused. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Ball's in your court, asshole. I mean... I'm trying to think, like... Destroy everything that costs a lot of mana is kind of bad. It gives me a random... 7-cost minion. But, like... You know... I feel like I should be fine. I think I, I think this game should be a win, but I have no idea. If he doesn't do anything, he's dead on board, right? That's 15. Of course, he has the Psychic Scream. One of in the deck. They always have it. Always have it. If he didn't have Psychic Scream there, he had lost on the spot, but... I don't know why I didn't expect him to have it. That's weird. I was hoping to at least be able to have some form of a game, but they always have the psychic screen, man. What seven drop do you want? There's two cards I don't want him to take. And I'm 90% sure he's hitting one of them. I wanted to take a 7 drop if I'm being honest. Like, that would be best case scenario for me. But, 7 drop and give me something like an and win or something. He took the fucking 8 8. Yeah. Uh, that was one of the ones I didn't want him to take. Oh well. Hmm. He also had the Shadow Word Ruin. 
man actually legitimately had every fucking card he could ever want. This is not even good is the problem. Ugh. I got so unlucky this game. This isn't a fucking summon me a 2-1. Oh no, this recruits an 8 cost, never mind. I'm guaranteed to hit something semi-decent at least. It's the mass the re uh, reveler that's going to give me terrible garbage. I wanted to play something that's an 8-8. Eight eight. But I'm probably slamming this into this. Just start like trying to stem the bleeding a little bit. Gotta take a lot of damage. Okay, at least he low rolled that. Hit one of the weaker ones overall. This is actually a great target for this, but I'm like dead. Is the problem. KT? Man, if I would have hit KT, I had won this game, I think. I don't know, 3 3. Maybe not. I'm too low to win, I think. I'm really fucking low. He's gonna hit 10 cost poly. Mass poly deal damage is my guess. Or did he hit the 5 cost? Oh, yeah, he hit poly. He always hit poly. I don't know how many times I've played Kel'Thuzad in this- or Kazakus in this situation. And I'd say half the time I'm just on fucking actually hitting Polymorph. Why doesn't this thing have rush? Barely searching, I'm dead here. I would not be surprised if I just die. Hero power, slam, uh, Anduin, hero power, one drop, hero power, one drop, hero power. Uh, no, he's just gonna hit the second polymorph. It's one mana off, technically. Hmm. Okay. Well, one of those is 100% mass poly. Which means I just lose the game, which is what's fun. The summons. Fuck, the summons at 7 cost. Bruh. Lol. <laughs> Worthless card. Did I low roll like half my shit? Okay, I guess that's. I didn't mean to. Cl oh, fuck me sideways. I did not mean to click on that. I meant to kill that. But I misclicked and potentially just lost myself the game. Sharper is a really bad 7 drop when you think about it. When you just summon him stat wise, he's really fucking bad. Hmm. I'm trying to think how do I actually come back from here? I think I'm too low. I just inevitably die to Anduin whenever he draws that. Or Kazakus into Mass Poly, or. One of fucking 60 different cards. I need to start clicking on his face if I'm being honest with my minions and just ignoring what he has. Setting up behind taunts and basically saying, if you have it, you have it. That is what I actually have to start doing here. Does that summon low cost max? Okay, it does. I think he hit poly. And, I mean, Poly on this board is not that great for him. So, I guess let's hope he hit Polymorph. It's fine. I don't know what a temporary copy of a card is. So, that's a thing. Does temporary mean it disappears at the end of turn? I wouldn't be surprised if that's what that meant. I'm just gonna click on his face 
And hope for no Anduin. If he has Anduin, I'm dead. If he doesn't have Anduin, I'm fine. Potentially. Dragon Fire Potion? Uh, I guess that's a card. Okay. Uh, I guess this is fine. I should have signed Naraza before, so this way I had hero power every single turn. Uh, I just need to start summoning dudes that die and summon more dudes. I guess eventually play these seven drops. These are just so awkward to actually play. Hmm. I'm kind of glad that Mutus ate what it ate. Like, that was really good for me. That's good. He can't kill that. If he does, I mean, he doesn't. Double 10 armor, double poly. Ugh. Sometimes my opponents are just too lucky for me. Oh, that's just a spell. Card's really bad. Uh, that poly could like man. Imagine if he fucking ratted Witchwood Piper. Or this, like actually, cards that did nothing. Not a three three that potentially won me the game through KT. Kind of unfortunate. He has yet to see KT or Deathwing, so. Oh, well, he also failed on the first guess. So. Yeah, I have things that can get countered, that's fine. I'm gonna throw away the Witch Woodpiper. That was the correct order to do that in. I think I want to kill this. Even though I don't want to kill all of his minions, I think I do want to kill that one in particular. Bran is too terrifying in general to leave alive. I think from here I just want to I want to slam Fractal, and then is he trading that into my seven three? Is that's the right the right play was to probably kill the seven three? No, okay. Oh, wait, he can just outrace me from here, potentially. That is a terrifying fact. Oh. Well, okay. Fourteen, twenty-five, twenty-six with my hero power. You have Anduin. You had lethal last turn. If you would have just played Anduin, I have a feeling. But oh well. The lucky psychic scream on seven saved him. Saved him so fucking hard. There's no reason. They always have it. Why? What did I get? What What is my bundle option? You lied to me. There's nothing here. There is nothing here. There is no bundle. Fuck you, game. Alright, uh, let's just queue up the next one. This is a super fucking problematic matchup. I can't beat the deck I'm playing against at all. Um, of course, I'll never see Trickster ever. This card just doesn't actually exist in my deck. Um, I 
Can I please draw this trickster just one time, please? I'm never going to see that minion, so I don't know why I get my hopes up. I'm going to draw my second one of these, mine as well. And just hopefully draw trickster. I believe. I believe trickster one time. That is the opposite of a trickster. That is a minion I'll never be able to play because I'm about to get milled for my entire deck. I need to draw a trickster here or else smokescreen is actually unplayable. And even then it might still just be unplayable. Never fucking lucky. Actually never fucking lucky. What can you do? Oh, and I burn a card too. Unfortunate. Oh my god. It's been so long since I've seen that combo in fucking Druid. Actually forever. Oh, I should have traded this one first. Of course I burned that instead of burning this piece of garbage. Oh, that's so tilting. Why am I never lucky at this game? Uh, I hate this game. Trade, trade, poison seeds me. I recruit KT, you concede. Fair trade? Oh, that was actually such a bad burn. He's looking for poison seeds. That's fairly obvious. Do you have double naturalize? Oh, he does. Because he hit it off Moonlight Guidance. Must be nice. Must be... Fucking magical. Please hit your own minion. I fucking hate this game, man. Legitimately nothing ever fucking works. I don't care anymore. I'm so sad. He RNGs the naturalize into... Winning a 50-50. On top of that, winning the 33% chance to hit my biggest minion. Into a top deck Poison Seeds. Watch. Just play the Poison Seeds. I know you have the Poison Seeds. Just play it. Why are you wasting my time? Did you not- Did you forget Guff got nerfed? Oh. He- He had both naturalizes. I have four cards left on turn six because he hit Clayton. Naturalize can hit your own fucking minions, man. I'm so... I'm tilted beyond fucking belief. The odds of ha what just happened happening are so fucking low. It is ridiculous. He also played a ramp spell, which, yeah, checks out. You play a ramp spell, high roll the 50-50 into the naturalize, into high roll the 50-50 into the naturalize hitting my board, into high roll the 33% chance of hitting my best minion to hit. Gotcha. On top of having drawn both of them in the top 10 cards of your deck. Checks out. Your deck that plays two minions and guff and then the rest of the spells. Checks out. Even if it's five cards. Which means there's typically around 12 plus different spells in that deck. The odds of having what just happened happen is so fucking low it is ridiculous. Can you swipe your own guy? No, of course you hit my guy. Swipe can also hit... I don't know. Swipe is at least enemy minion. Okay. I thought swipe was your minion. That is conveniently at one health higher than my weapon does. I am Omega tilted at this game. I fucking... The realms in which I got this unlucky playing this game is so small that I actually can't believe I had lost. Now is when you hit the poison seeds. Poison Seeds, are you hitting do do do? Triple do? I 
I could have. Uh, that's the poison seeds. That was way too quick not to be poison seeds. Unless he doesn't play it in his deck, but I'm 99% sure he has a poison seeds in hand. Hope. What's the best three drop mechs I can get? Mech tank, tank, or shark, shark, or whatever the fuck the card's called. I don't think that matters. I'm pretty sure I'm still just dead. There's the poison seeds. Those were both pretty fucking awful. There's the first due process. Man, I wish I knew what it was like to get as lucky as my opponents are getting. You burn he burned all the actual playable minions. And now I'm left left with all the ones that pull shit out of my deck. Double cabal. Okay, I'm I am done with this one. This was the most tilting video I think I've ever fucking recorded. I was gonna record another video after this one, but I can't. I am way too fucking tilted. Shut the fuck up, you got so fucking lucky. I can't deal with people that get as lucky as this guy got. He played, s what was that? One, two, three, four, five naturalizes against me and by turn four, turn five, five naturalizes by turn five. Checks out. Checks out. I don't see either, like the guy who posted this deck I believe hit 22 legend and I don't comprehend this deck seemed cool on paper and I'm like oh yeah this deck looks pretty fucking dope but it's the biggest steaming pile of trash I've ever fucking seen like half the cards in this deck don't make sense like why is this there why is this there those are just cards like that's just the cards you miss on with fucking illusionist this is bad Summons useless fucking mechs that don't do shit. And I have a feeling there's better shit to be summoning than these. But like, I don't know. I'm so tilted. I should have just played Big Priest. I should have just played Big Priest. At least then I could have actually won a game and not have been this tilted. To be fair, I would have been this tilted if I played against that Druid with Big Priest. And we played that many naturalizes and then high rolled that often with the naturalizes. Oh, I am so fucking tilted. I don't think I've ever been this tilted playing Hearthstone. Like, I know I've said that before. But fuck am I tilted right now. I legitimately don't even want to fucking stare at Hearthstone at all. Like, it's the last thing I want to do right now. Don't even want to be in the game. <laughs> uh all right, I need to go take a break. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. I know I didn't. I removed cards out of the... I have to go figure out what the fuck I just removed. Oh, well. Anyways, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, don't forget to like and subscribe as always. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all in the next one, where hopefully I get less tilted. Alright guys, yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.